Hello lovelies. Canada has been one of the most preferred destinations for a lot of people. I can say that it's a lot of people's dream uh, country for immigration purposes or for immigration, right? So in recent times, they've been announcing a lot of uh, pathways or different visit types or different routes that people can use to migrate to Canada and in this video I'll be talking about one of these pathways that you can use to actually launch yourself or move to Canada so while you're watching do like share and subscribe and keep watching So if you're just joining my channel or if you're just joining this video for the first time, hi, my name is Emanuela, you are welcome. So I say a big welcome back to returning viewers and then welcome to new viewers or new subscribers on this channel. So in this video, I'll be talking uh, step by step on your application with regards to moving to Alberta. That is the one that everyone is saying, Alberta is calling, Alberta is calling, move now to Alberta, all right? So let's look at some uh, few details about Alberta, facts about Alberta, and then facts about the designated communities and then other details with regards to your process, all right, your application. In this video, I'm going to teach you do it, how to do it yourself without the aid of an agent. If you actually take your time to follow due process, process and be meticulous at it all right so the first thing we have to look at here is facts about alberta alberta is one of the rural areas in canada with great immigration opportunities for people in canada and people out of canada so alberta is the province in the rural renewal uh, stream program introduced with a permanent residency all right what are the facts about alberta alberta has the lowest tax at the moment in Canada, having low provincial sales tax at about 10%, all right? So it means that the tax is not that high. It's not high. It is the lowest at the moment, all right? Alberta is the province that provides or the produces oil and gas, all right, with rocky mountains and affordable standard of living. So it means that this province is where uh, you have the resources for oil and gas, all right, and then they also have affordable standard of living for anyone looking into moving to Alberta in Canada, all right. Alberta introduced this rural renewal stream program and it is designed with the support of the IRCC, all right, which is a permanent residence program offering opportunities to give some small towns opportunities in the in the province to recruit workers to fill some jobs in view to give the communities a vibrant or active economy all right so you have to know that certain cities that actually participate in these we're actually going to look at them later they are called designated communities when you check the website we're going to see it together you actually see the names of this designated community so you also have to know that they are looking for workers all over the globe in and out of canada to fill up certain job positions with at least the lowest education certification that is your high school or your secondary school certification so if you're in canada as a tourist or as a visitor looking into getting your pr this is actually one of the opportunities that you need to grab and start making making your application with the right uh, requirements as well but if you're also outside canada looking to move into canada you can embrace this opportunity as well if you are in the pool all right that's the express entry pool you can actually talk to your agent if you're actually working with one and tell them you are interested in alberta and they can actually help you through this process as well but if you have not started at all you can follow due process as described in this video so we're not going to bore you with a lot of stories here all right so that's the short about that so many people are excited about these guys because this come with a lot of full-time job opportunities for applicants in and out of canada all right so if you're in the express entry pool this is an opportunity for you as well. You can use this to boost your points and get nominated to Alberta province and to get your PR. So if this gets you so excited and interested and you know someone that is interested with this kind of content, I don't have a lot of money to actually uh, do some applications to uh, actually migrate to a country of choice or to their country of choice kindly you like this video share with such persons so that they can actually embrace this opportunity as well now let's look at the necessary things that you need to do to have a successful application so the first thing to do here is for you to actually apply for 
a job. Yes, you apply for a job. So I'll be leaving in the description box links to different job sites that are linked to designated communities. You can't just apply to any job at all, guys. And maybe you must have watched some videos that I told you apply to jobs through Job Bank and all of that. No, they were actually designated communities. That's why they are selected communities that are actually looking for workers. So if you're applying for a job, it has to be job that are in this area with designated community. So you have to be very careful what jobs you apply. And that's why some people don't make it up for nomination because they don't follow due process. They don't follow the right instructions. So, all right. So that's why I'm taking time to do step-by-step -step in this video. So the first thing is for you to actually get a job, all right, secure a job. But know that one of the perks here is that you must have a minimum of secondary school or higher certificate to actually be able to apply for this job. All right, so the next thing you need to do is actually to apply to the individual designated community to apply for those jobs through the links that I'll also be providing in the description box of this video. So put in mind, jobs are available on their website, all right? So I will show you some of them in the course of this video, all right? So you don't need to panic at all, all right? So also, you need to actually have your CV handy and revamped, all right? Clear and concise, all right? So you need to actually try to arrange your CV while you're trying to apply to designated community. Right? Bearing in mind that your CV must align with the requirements of each job that you're applying to. So you might need to update or review your CV as you progress through the different jobs application. Please also to note is that so as many as job opportunities that you're applying to or job links you'll be applying to, always check your mail uh, for updates from those companies that you'll be applying to. Because of course, when you apply for a job, the manager or the poster of the job might actually deem you or find you worthy of the job position and be able to reach out to you for further interview or for further discussion before you can actually be finally selected. After working with your CV, submitting and all of that, the next thing you need to know is that after you get the, you then get the job, all right, the community now begins to send you mails. Like I said earlier, you work, you actually need to start working or they will start working with you through other process and finally present you to the province of Alberta. Then looking at the requirements of Alberta, for PR, let's look at it. Alberta has one of the lowest requirements. Here you have that your, your language test, that's your IELTS or your CELPIP or your French language test, all right? You need to have with band score of about five, all right? That is if your job is for NOC 0123 occupation or a band score of four, if your job is for NOC four or five occupation. I'm going to show you all of that in the demo. All right, for your IELTS, please know that it has to be IELTS general. Right? So for some people, it is band score of five. For some people, it is band score of four. We're going to look at that in the demo. All right, so please know that once you have gotten a job, all right, you receive a letter of endorsement. All right, this letter of endorsement, which will come from the EDO. The EDO is called Economic Development Organization of that community that you are applying to. After receiving a letter of endorsement, all right, for, from the employer, all right, you get to the next phase. What is the next phase? The next phase is your AAIP. That is called the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. Here, you then apply for the provincial nomination through the AAIP, all right? Bear in mind that you would need to submit the letter this letter and other documents as required at this stage. So at AIP stage, you need to submit letter of endorsement. You also need to fill up or apply to the AAIP, all right? And then with other documents. And you use the link as well in the description box of this video to actually see what they are all about. The next phase after submission, then the province of Alberta will then nominate you. That is where you have the nomination phase, all right? Here, this means that you, the applicant, automatically have 600 points. For example, if you're already in the pool, that is the express entry pool, with a low score, you would have your score increased, all right, with the points from the nomination points. Take, for example, you initially had 300 points, 300 points from the express entry pool, or while you're at the express entry pool. If you then get nominated by Alberta province, 
then you get or you have an increased point of about 900 points in total. And this is very high for any nomination to be taken place, all right, in Canada. All right, so for your PR. Since the PR draws happens bi-weekly, every two weeks, I mean, from the date you get nominated, then count about two weeks till the next draw, then you automatically be invited to apply for permanent residence. This is beautiful, guys, because if you're married, you can come in with your family. So it's a family movement and progress. Fantastic, right? So you won't need to leave your wife, your husband, your children, your child behind in your home country. You won't also need to leave your common law partner behind. So once you've been nominated, all right, in this Alberta province program, then you, you have the opportunity to move with your husband, with your wife, with your child, with your children, or even your common law partners. One of the requirements that everyone migrating to any country has to take note of is what is called proof of funds. For some countries, they call it proof of solvency. For some countries, they call it uh, show of solvency, show of funds, means of sustenance, or means of sustenance, proof of funds, whatever is called in the country where you're. For Canada, all right, the, for you to show proof of funds, this depends on the number of dependents or family members that you'll be settling with in Alberta when you actually relocate to Alberta. So we'll look at that in the demo. Having said all of these guys, now let's move to the demo and see some jobs and actually know how to apply. And we'll also look at the official website with regards to all of these that we have discussed. So please, if, if you have found this video useful so far, please click on the like button, like this video, actually share with family and friends, all right? Subscribe, all right, if you're new here, all right? And then now let's move to the demo. So guys, the next, the first thing I like us to look at here on this demo, all right, is a list of the designated communities, all right? So these are the names there, City of Brooks, all right? These have designation dates, May 13, 2022. So some of them have been designated since last year 2022 all right city of grand prairie july 6 2022 all right town of white court you have a whole lot here the list is here with the date as well some of them have just been designated town of fairville january 13 2023 all right some of them march 10 2023 some of them june 14 town of peace river town of silver lake june 14 2023 all right all right, so that's the beautiful thing about these links I'll be putting in the description box so that you can read, look at them at your free time. Let's look at mandatory requirements. An application will only be evaluated if all the mandatory requirements below are met. What are these requirements? Rural communities with a population less than 100,000. Rural communities in the same economic region may form a partnership to submit an application. And all of the details that you're going to look at there, you have to read that at your free time. Before you apply, what are the things that you need to look at? You need to know that communities have the capacity to attract, recruit, and welcome newcomers in order to participate in this rural renewal stream. As rural renewal stream candidate is a foreign national who does not have permanent residence in Canada. I also said this person could be living in or outside Canada. So that's why if you're also outside Canada, you can also apply. All right. So community requirements, you also need to read all of that. All right. Identify and working with community employers that have permanent uh, full-time work, not part-time jobs. All right. The full-time work must be minimum of 12 months not less than 12 months before you can be able to be nominated to any of the designated communities to work with them. After your application has been submitted, you also need to know that, all right, it takes about eight weeks. Let's look at it. The application will be evaluated and a government representative will contact the community to indicate the status of the application within eight weeks. All right, look at it here, guys. Eight weeks of the official submission date. The applicant will be notified if more time is needed and will be notified of the outcome of the application via email, all right? So with last three years to the date that community receive email confirmation of designation, there will be an option to extend the designation by an additional two years to a maximum of five, year, five years. So take, for example, a community has been designated or has been chosen, all right, to be part of the designated communities to recruit workers for since 2022, all right? That's the official date. So they, they have been given three years. All right, so if you are not able to gather this year, you might actually get it next year, but the earlier, the better you start making your application. When you get an endorsement letter, what are some of the details that you need to know? All right, here you have content for the endorsement of candidate letter. The letter must be on the official 
letterhead and issued by the local economic development organization of the community i must outline the following name and address of the economic development organization supporting the application candidates full name and residential address details of the bona fide job offer name of the business name and contact information of the employer means that these documents have to contain all of the next thing we need to look at together in this demo is language requirements all right says the language requirements for can some candidates may have increased or decreased with the implementation of the noc 2021 version so when you're free you can just click on this and look at the version at your free time and read it up all right look at the table here it says that at the time your application is submitted you must demonstrate that you meet the following language test score in english or french all right noc here all right if your job offer is for NOC 012 or 3 occupation, minimum of CLB 5. If your job offer is NOC 4 or 5 occupation, like at least I had mentioned earlier, minimum of 4, all right, for English language and the minimum of 4 for French language as well. National Credential Assessment ECA issued by an organization designated by R IRCC for your highest level of education. It is called settlement fund requirements. All right. Like I said, it depends on how many people that are moving with you. All right. Here you have number of family members. One, if you the area you're moving to has population less than 1,000, you have you need to have 8,922 Canadian dollars in your uh, account or in your bank statement to show proof of funds. All right. If not, if it's 1,000 to 30,000, population you need 10,151 Canadian dollars all right if it's more than that you need 11,993 all right Canadian dollars there all right that is if only you if let's take for example you are single you're not married and you're the only one moving to alberta that is the amount that you've been needing in your statement or in your in your proof of funds okay but if your family of two for example husband and wife this is what you need to have in your proof of funds and then the other figures with regards to number of dependents or number of people moving with C to Alberta. Okay, here it says amount of funds required for each additional family member. You have it down here as well. Funds must be readily available to you to meet the minimum settlement funds requirements. Real estate property, jewelry, cars, and other personal assets are not eligible. All right, it has to be liquid. All right, it has to be liquid funds. Okay, so if your spouse is coming with you, you can count money you have together in a joint account. All right, the ex is very, very explicit here, guys. You may be able to count money in an account under your spouse's name, but you must prove you have the access to that money as well. All right, the funds must be available at the time of application and assessment. You must prove to an AAIP officer that you can legally access the funds when you arrive in Alberta, you must provide official letters from any banks or financial institutions where your funds are kept. Include for each current bank and investment account, the account number, the dates each account was opened, current banks of each account, all right, transactions made within the past three months, average balance for the past six months as well. So other details with regards to proof of funds, they said if you have any questions about this program, contact the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. Now let's look at the jobs and how to apply. Looking at the, some of this job here, this for this one, uh, this is Walker Police, one of the designated um, communities here. This is the official website here with the jobs here. You have your occupational therapist, contractor, you have your educational psychologist, cheese maker. Let's look at one of the jobs and then see what uh it's all about here. It says housekeeping attendance here. All right, the name of the hotel is there. Your skills, you just need cleaning. It's the only skills that is needed for you to have. Benefits, extended health care, disability insurance, dental care, discounted or free food, vision care. So they'll take care of your eyes, your health, and all that other things here. Job description here. It says here, uh, please note this position is located in Jasper, Alberta, not Edmonton. All right. Any couples looking to work together, this will be ideal. So if you're coming with your husband or with your wife, and then you need a job that you can be on together, working together, all right, as a couple, all right. Of course, this will also stick you through together. What is the salary? All right. 17 Canadian dollars per hour for 44 hours per per week all right so what location information rural area subsidized 
fully furnished staff accommodations available. Wow, this is interesting. So guys, if you know you're going with your spouse, all right, or with your partner, all right, this is one of the ideal jobs for you to actually take up first, all right, because of course, if you know you move to a new country, all right, accommodation is usually one of the um, setbacks or one of the things that actually make people struggle a lot so if you embark or take up with this job all right this is actually going to be very good for couples that are looking to go into alberta all right schedule eight hour shift day shift holidays night shift. remember that your cv has to be tailored to tailored to the job description like i said earlier all right so this is fantastic remember that your job that you need to pick up here has to be a full-time job it has to be a full-time, not a part-time job. Let's look at early childhood educator. Early educator out of school care, early years, level one, two, three, or in progress, all right? The Northern here, and you read the culture here, we are welcoming, and all of the details, we are genuine, we are welcome, we are determined, essential functions, work and communicate with the team of imp to implement child care curriculum, uh, which will include playing to learn, uh, flight, and in and a place to connect, build relationships with families, communicate verbally and in writing on, on a daily basis, qualification experience, experience working with children, level one, two or three, child care certification of God, like a, a teaching certification. You also need first aid, all uh, right, a training, able to obtain a police report, of course, you get that from your home country, all right, what the white brings to you, a meaningful career, all right, a culture of honesty, respect, pride in what we do, and all of that here, all right, disclaimer, Read all the information with regards to your salary and all other details here. Let's look at one more here. Pax operator to high school diploma or a GED. That is your education that you need to uh, have. Customer service, communication skills, right? That's what you begin. The key responsibilities, look at it here. Assist in assessment of equipment, provide input into equipment purchasing and all of that here. All right, you scroll down, see other requirements here. High school diploma, equivalent combination of education and experience may be considered. Minimum of three years related experience in operation of equipment in support pack operation. Valid class three Alberta operator's license as a driving license. All right, what is your salary? All right, you can start with 27 Canadian dollars per hour going up to 31 Canadian dollars. Another designated community as part of this Alberta Rural um, program here is called Town of Westlock. So if you look at the designated community uh, communities table that I showed you earlier, Town of Westlock is one of it. So this is official website and then you have the jobs here. Candidate eligibility, you, have, you need a minimum of uh, 12 months of full-time work experience in the last 18 months in Canada or abroad. You need to speak English proficiently and pass a fluency test, all right? All right, you need to have completed a minimum of high school education equivalent to Canadian standard and it's also demonstrate sufficient funds to support yourself and then your family if you have, if you're coming with any family member. Only candidates, all right, once a candidate receives a job offer, the employer will give a copy of the job offer to the town of Westlock to issue a letter of endorsement. So they put all this that I've earlier explained here. AAIP requires that job offers are signed by the employer and employer must state that the position offers continuous paid work in town of Westlock. And then you need to have full-time work for 12 months or more, wages and benefits that meet or exceed the lowest starting wage or for your occupation. So all of that details here, look at the jobs here, Husky Tags, Gas Bar and Covenants, Team Hortons, WPH, all right, Pizza Hut, Westlock Child Care Society. All you need to hear is any of the jobs that you're interested in, all right, you can just email them here, your CV. That's what is required of you to do here. Okay? Just send them an email and then after some time, they will get back to you. Another designated community here is uh, RMA, Rural Municipality of Alberta. This is the official website for jobs here. All right, you have posted job for July 20, Emergency Communication Operator, Development Officer, Executive Assistant. And then you have other details you can find here. When you scroll down, you see other jobs here. Transport Officer, Utility Operators, Municipal um, Service Director, and then other jobs that you can find there. Let's look at them page by page. So if any of the jobs interest, you can just click on them and then Further apply, make your details, and then upload your documents with regards to the job description, like I'll always say. All right, community peace executive. I'm actually looking for a job that would not require you to have so much. Remember that I said that the job that you must apply to has to be a full-time job, minimum of 12 months for the job. So let's look at these packs operators too. All right, here you have town of packs operators to where is it? A town of Monville, Morinville, 
AB, all right? That's Alberta, all right? So we have the requirement here. High school diploma equivalent combination of education and experience may be considered minimum of three years related uh, experience in operation of equipment in support of parks operation, ability to work independently, all right? You also need a criminal record check, all right? And driver's abstract, all right? That's from your home country, of course, all right? They, all they need you to do is if you meet all the requirements, and you have checked the key responsibility and you're able to do the job, what you need to do is actually to look at here. You send your CV here, but it says submit resume and cover letter quoting this. There is a quote here, com hashtag 2023-25-poll. You actually quote that and then send your CV, all right, and your uh cover letter. Send it to this email here send it to this email here hr at morinville.ca all right so if you need more details with regards to that you can actually click here the website is there and you get all that information there all right additional job information you read that at your free time the thing i can pick up here is your wage that is your salary that you'll be starting with 27 canadian dollars per hour all right going up to 31 canadian dollars per hour the date that this was posted was june 28 2023 and then in the closing date is July 25. So if this interests you, hurry up and start making your application. So for people, for my people in the educator sector, education sector, all right, we have preschool instructor one, preschool instructor two. All right, so let's look at them and then let's see what you'll be required to submit, all right? I have a lot of teachers on my uh on my as my uh, viewers or as my subscribers. Here you have requirements, all right. Strong interpersonal customer service skills, strong communication and leadership skills, flexibility to work in a dynamic team environment with minimal supervision. What is your qualification? High school diploma with experience with working with children. Knowledge of early childhood development is preferred. NCCP fundamental movement skills is an asset. High five principles of healthy child development is an asset. WHMIS is an asset. You need to actually go to Google and find out what that is about. What are your responsibilities? Assist the lead preschool instructor to, to implement activities for up to 20 children based on emergent curriculum, maintain a clean and safe and positive learning environment, great and, great and welcome participants, parents and caregivers, all right? Basically, just taking care of children and their welcoming parents when they come up, all right, in the school or in the learning environment. Conditions of employment, you need to submit satisfactory criminal record check, submit satisfactory vulnerable sector child and uh, check and child inter intervention record check valid standard first aid cpr c and an aed certification ability to work a flexible schedule including a variety of daytime reliable transportation to work at various urban and rural locations across strathcona county Successful candidates will be required to provide proof of educational and profession, professional credentials as noted in their resume. All right, so you see, if you're a teacher, of course, you need a license from your country. You also need a teaching certification from your country on our website. So when you click on this, it takes you to the website and then you make your application. That is about it, guys, about the demo. All right, so please put to note the proof of funds page I showed you earlier. Also, remember the things to do and process. Receive a letter of endorsement, AIP phase, the nomination phase, and all of that. Also, remember that the things, the first thing you need to do is actually to get a job. When you get a job, you also need to apply to the designated communities all right i've showed you that earlier then you begin the community then begins to work with you and then you get your letter of endorsement you go through the aaip phase nomination phase and then follow other process that i've mentioned with regards to what i showed you in the demo so if you find this video useful please click on the like button like on this video share with your family and friends all right consider to subscribe if you're new here all right and then see you in my next video thanks for watching and i wish you the very best in your migration journey.